So today's video is based on a little bit of things that I kind of find out today. I thought this was kind of an interesting topic to talk about. And um, I ended up getting into like some type of argument with a guy here about this. And, and this was like the dumbest argument because I don't know if this guy was just trolling or just being an idiot. So, Sony pulls popular Mario creation from Dreams after Nintendo complaint. Okay, so, there is a game called Dreams which is, um... Which is, I believe, it, it, it's a creative type of game, just like on Minecraft. I don't really know that much about it. But, um, apparently there was a creator. He made a, a model of Mario. And with a popular Mario, model of Mario, um, he sadly did not get any rights to be able to make that model. Or to possibly even do anything with the um, regular model. Now, with that, Sony had pulled their, the Mario game which is, um, I believe based off of the famous Mario 64 game and they ended up taking it out of the game because of Nintendo had claimed copyright strike on the model. Now, um, it said, I'll read this right here. Almost since the moment Dreams was available to the public, people had been creating games, models, and music based on non-Sony IP. The first time I booted up Dreams back in early access, it was already filled with Mario, Sonic, and Doom levels. For a while, it seemed that the creations were almost safe. This no longer seems the case. This seems like the case. Now, um, there are some people that have been copywriting, copywriting for Mario stuff, and um, it was like it was like things like Super Mario 64 HD, and um, the thing is, it's like it, it's like it's like things like the Mario model had caused a lot of people to um especially in Nintendo, to want to go ahead and make a copyright strike and take it off. Now, a lot of people got frustrated about this because it was like, it was telling people, um, because people thought it was like, oh, you know what, now Nintendo's messing up, messing up everybody's dreams, this and that, and you know, Nintendo doesn't care about customer creativity. That's not always the case, so, I had this guy who, um, who kind of told me about, you know, about things like it, like, you know, in regards to, like, copyright, saying that it's considered slavery, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, like, like, literally, I, I thought this guy was just, just, like, smoking too many freaking moon rocks. So, I pulled, I pulled out the whole thing about copyright, like, with the idea, like, some people were saying, oh, oh you know what, they're not making money off of it, no, no. That's not the damn point. That's not the point at all that people don't seem to understand. So let me put this out there. When it comes to having an IP, you have to have certain copyrights to it. Certain areas like Mario and Link and, you know, I would say Sonic belong to Nintendo. Like how God of War, uh, Infamous, and even Horizon Zero Dawn still, like character IPs and the stories belong to, um, belong to Sony um, or belong to the main companies that made them also there's like Halo and there's like Gears of War that belongs to Xbox or the companies in Xbox um, the thing is a lot of people cannot use IPs unless they have the proper permission and the proper um, rights to the IPs that's what le legally it does um, if somebody goes ahead and and takes your IP and makes money off of it that is taking money out of the company that created the IP who owns the IP and specifically who is making games for the IP and with that that's taking money out of the away from the company that owns the IP that has the right to make those games for the IP now I know a lot of people have come up with like creative ideas for the IP and everything but the problem is you cannot do that on your own without proper permission. That's why things like Newgrounds end up um, taking down creations or even things like, I would say like animations because of the fact that you cannot, and this is what I'm telling people, you cannot do certain things without proper permission. If it's a company that allows you to mod or allows you to customize, like I would say, like Bethesda with Skyrim and Fallout, then that's all, that's that's fine. But if it's a company that says you cannot do this without proper permission, then it's legal enough to do so. 
the problem is with things like this it can lead to people make, making you know having to pay a fee for it even to a point where they have to pay the court fees or even lawyer fees of the opposite company and or end up receiving jail time for actually you know taking the IPs without proper permission and that's why it's a major thing that's why copyright is a thing copyright is a thing so people don't take money off of people's plate off of people's plate or table or take food off their table from the job that they actually work in and they work very hard from from with a specific IP and take that money off their table so they won't so they could be able to take care of themselves pay their bills and earn the money that they rightfully deserve now I understand the idea of character creation and like you know you know any developers need having creativity but if you have that much creativity by all means go ahead and make your own IP and then come up with something similar there is a difference between inspiration and also copyright you can have a game inspire another game and have things that are similar not the same one you can't use the exact same IP though but um I want to know what you guys think by all means let me know what you guys think in the comments um, as I said, this is something that, um, especially for an artist like me or someone who wants to work in the gaming com communities or in the gaming companies, that this is something that's very important. But I want to know what you guys think. But definitely subscribe to the EHG community. Definitely turn on your notifications when we get that put. Definitely turn on your notifications when we get streams and new videos. Uh, I'm like messing up my um, my intro today, huh? Definitely subscribe to the EHG community. Definitely turn on your notifications when we get new streams and new videos set up. And definitely join us on our Facebook group, our Discord channels. Make sure to check out our merchandise. Subscribe to our moderators and support our sponsors. And um, I want to go ahead and say a happy birthday to one of our sponsors, which is Rando20XX. His birthday is today. So by all means, go ahead and check out his page. And by all means, leave him a nice happy birthday message. But this is your boy, CrazyMix98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.